Okay class, today we are in section 7.5, write and graph exponential decay functions. Before, you wrote and graph exponential growth functions. Now, you will write and graph exponential decay functions. Key vocabulary, exponential decay. Okay, please read this paragraph and example one before I begin to explain example one. Please read this paragraph and example one before I begin to explain example one. Example one, write a function rule. Tell whether the table represents an exponential function. If so, write a rule for the function. A, this is our function. They give us our x values and they give us our y values. The y values are multiplied by three, four, each increase of one in x. So the table represents an exponential function of the form y equals a times b to the x with b being 3. The values of y when x is 0 is 1 third. Look at the table, x is 0, y is 1 third. So a equals 1 third. The table represents the exponential function y equals 1 third times 3 to the x. Okay, so now let's make sure that we know where the a value comes from, the b value comes from, and where the x value comes from. Okay, the b value is easy. The v value is whatever is repeating here. So to go from one ninth to one third, you had to multiply by three. To go from one third to one, you had to multiply by three. To go to from one to three, you had to multiply by three. So that's your b value. Now to get the a value, all you do is write your equation and then plug in when uh, x is equal to zero. So we got y is equal to a times b to the x, all right? When x is 0, that's my x. When x is 0, y is 1 third. So in place of y, I put 1 third. So 1 third is equal to a times b to the 0. Okay, now what is b to the 0 power? b to the 0 power is 1. So I got 1 third is equal to a times 1. Well, what is a times 1? a times 1 is a. So a is equal to 1 third. And all I do is plug that into my equation, and I'm pretty much good to go. All right, so the table represents the exponential function y is equal to one-third times three raised to the x. Once again, the one-third, that is your a value, and the three, that is the common, uh, in this case, ratio. Okay, when we solve b, we're using the exact same principle, except that our numbers for y are going to be just a little bit different in terms of what we come out with. The y values are multiplied by one fourth for each increase of one in x. So the table represents an exponential function of the form y equals a times b to the x with b being one fourth, that's my common ratio. And the value of y when x equals zero is one. So a is equal to one. So the table represents the exponential function y equals one-fourth to the x power. Okay, let's examine the table closely. Notice the x values are increasing by one, and the y values are being multiplied by one-fourth. Four times one-fourth will give you one. One times one-fourth will give you one-fourth, and then one-fourth times uh, uh, one-fourth will give you one over 16. Okay, once again, for those of us who may be confused on how we got the a value, remember we write the exponential equation, y is equal to a times b to the x. We find when x is 0, and when x is 0, y is 1. So x is 0, y is 1, and then we solve for a. What's b to the 0 power? 1. What's a times 1? a. So a is equal to 1, or we can rewrite it as a is equal to 1. So that's how the a value was determined. And once again, the b value is the common ratio. Okay, everybody complete guided practice number one. Complete guided practice number one. Tell whether the table represents an exponential function. If so, write a rule for the function. Okay, read this paragraph. Read this paragraph and read example two before I begin to explain example two. Read this paragraph and read example two before I begin to explain example two. Example two, graph an exponential function. Graph the function y is equal to one half raised to the x power and identify its domain and its range. 
Solution, step one. Make a table of values. The domain is all real numbers. So once again, we're going to pick positive uh, values here. We're going to pick zero, negative one, negative two. Right, so once again, our domain is going to be zero, positive one, positive two, negative one, negative two. Now we're going to take these values and we're going to plug these into the equation one by one. And after doing so, we come out with y being 4 when x, when x is a negative 2, y is 2 when x is a negative 1, y is 1 when x is 0, y is 1 half when x is 1, and y is 1 fourth when x is 2. All right, next we're going to plot these points. So after plotting the points, our graph takes this formation. And notice how y is going in the opposite direction. So that means this is going to be a decay kind of problem. Uh, the other day when we were doing the problems, they were going in this direction. That was growth. This way is decay. Kind of like linear. If this was a linear line, it would be negative. It would be negative going in this direction. Step three, draw a smooth curve through the points. For either the table or the graph, you see that the graph is all positive real numbers. So that means your range is all positive real numbers. And your domain is all real numbers, positive, zero, and negative. All right, now for those of us who may not know how to plug in or don't know why, how they came out with four when this was a negative two, we can repeat this for you once again. This is our function. Y is equal to one over two raised to the X. The X value is a negative two. So Y is equal to one half raised to the negative two. Now negative means I can put it over one. It's the inverse. So I put it over one to make this negative two positive. So it becomes y equals one over one half to the positive two. Now one half to the positive two equals one fourth. So now I have one over uh, one fourth. And I know when I got something over one, all I'm going to end up doing is flipping the bottom number. Anytime a number has been divided by one, all I'm doing is flipping the bottom number. So one over four becomes four. Okay, for those who need further explanation, don't forget y is equal to 1 divided by 1 over 4. y is equal to 1 divided by 1 over 4. I can rewrite that as y is equal to 1 divided by 1 over 4. I go back to my third, fourth grade math. I change my division sign to multiplication, and I take the reciprocal of 1 over 4, and that becomes 4 over 1. So 1 times 4 is equal to 4, and 1 times 1 is equal to 1, which means I end up with 4 over 1, which is 4. Okay, example three, compare graphs of exponential functions. Describe a function. An exponential decay function has an unbroken graph, so the function is, is, is continuous. An exponential decay function has an unbroken graph, so the function is continuous. If the graph were broken, that means that the graph would be discrete. But anytime the line is solid, it means it's continuous. Okay, graph the functions y equals 3 times 1 half to the x and y equals a negative 1 third times 1 half to the x. Compare each graph with the graph of y is equal to 1 half to the x. Once again, notice this is very similar to number 3 in the previous section. All right, once again, our values for x will include 0, 2 positive numbers, and 2 negative numbers. We take our x, plug it into each equation and then solve for each value. After doing so, we analyze and compare each of the tables to each other. Okay, because the y values for y equals three times one half to the x are three times the corresponding y values for y equals one half to the x, the graph of y equals three times one half to the x is a vertical stretch of the graph of y is equal to one half to the x. All they're saying is look at the red and look at the blue. You'll notice that the red, the red is three times greater than the blue. Three times one fourth would give you three fourths. Three times one half would give you three halves. Three times one would give you three. Three times two would give you six. And three times four would give you 12. So therefore you would expect that this graph, the blue one, right, would be lower. Or you can say that the red one would be higher. 
and it's going to be a vertical stretch. It's going up, 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 and it's become more and more vertical. All right? That explains that one. Because the y values for y is equal to a negative one-third times one-half to the x are a negative one-third times the corresponding y values for y is equal to one-half to the x. The graph of y equals a negative one-third times one-half to the x is a vertical shrink with reflection in the x-axis of the graph of y equals one-half to the x. Okay, all they're saying there is when you compare this one and this one, if you took uh, the y values and multiplied it by a negative one-third, you will come out with this solution, and you do that all the way down. For example, four times a negative one-third is a negative four over three. Two times a negative one-third is a negative two over three. One times a negative one-third is a negative one-third. And then you do the same thing there and there. And so then you notice when you look at the green line compared to the blue line, in this case, the green line is going to go in the opposite direction and it's going to shrink downward. In other words, it's going in a negative direction. It's going in a negative direction. All right, everybody complete guided practice two and three. Complete guided practice two and three. Don't forget, it's based on examples two and three. So once again, complete guided practice two and three. Okay, before I explain example four, uh, make sure you read where it says compare graphs. So read all of this. And also you want to read where it says analyze graphs. So please read that and then read the example before I explain. Example four, classify and write rules for functions. Tell whether the graph represents an exponential growth or exponential decay. Then write a rule for the function. I think we can all look at this and see that we're headed in a positive direction we're going up 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 all right so that's going to be an exponential growth and here this is going to be a decay because we're headed back in a negative um, direction a negative direction so that's going to be decay now let's worry about the rule solution a the graph represents an exponential growth y is equal to a times b to the x where b is greater than zero the y-intercept is 10 so a equals 10 find the value of b by using the point 1 12 and a is equal to 10 so you're going to use 1 12 and a is equal to 10 so y is equal to a times b to the x the y value is 12 a value is 10 and we're using a b uh an x value of 1 so we got 12 is equal to 10 times b to the 1 we divide both sides by 10 here and here and we come out with b is equal to 1.2 so a function rule is y is equal to 10 times 1.2 raised to the x okay b the graph represents exponential decay y is equal to a times b to the x where b is greater than zero and b is also less than one the y-intercept is eight so a is equal to eight Find the value of B by using the point 1, 4, and A is equal to 8. So Y is equal to A times B to the X. The Y value is 4, A was 8, and B is 1. We do the same trick we did last time. Divide both sides by 8, divide both sides by 8, and 4 divided by 8 is 1 half or 0.5. And then B to the 1 is, of course, B, so B is equal to 0.5. A function rule is y is equal to 8 times 0.5 raised to the x. All right, now for those of us who may have gotten lost, remember this trick you learned back in the last uh, two or three examples and also in the previous section. So you got y is equal to a times b to the x. This is how to get the a value now. y is equal to a times b to the x. <clears throat> so this occurs when you look at the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 10 when x is 0. So y is 10 x is 0. y is 10. x is 0. So what is b to the 0 power? 1. What is a times 1? a. And the 10 comes down, so a, a is equal to 10. Do the same thing on this side. y is equal to a times b to the x. What is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is 8 when x is 0. So once again, that's my y value. x is 0. What is b to the 0? 1. 
All right, so I end up with A is equal to 8.